It is all the news all the time, you see it is, and it is a pleasure to have you here. My name is Adam, and uh, we're looking at some interesting news today, uh, starting off with uh, page six, that well-known, very strange uh, celebrity news website, and it's saying Johnny Depp and Jeff Beck are playing New York uh, in gig that as they kick off their US tour. So that's going to be pretty awesome. I just wanted to quickly look at the uh, Jeff Beck and Johnny Depp tour listing. And uh, as you can see up here, it says 07 October 2022, that is today. And they're going to be in Port Chester, and that's at the Capitol Theatre. So I was having a quick look at that. This is the Capitol Theatre, it is in Port Chester, which is down here. If I show you uh, the inside of it, this is the Capitol Theatre in Port Chester, New York. And uh, what we're looking at is pretty much all sold out, apart from resale tickets, these pink ones. So these are all um, at higher prices uh, than uh, they should be, to be honest. 143, 456, uh, yeah, some big numbers here. So 298. 397 so yeah all the tickets are sold out and these are resale tickets of people who a couldn't come or are there to make a profit but that's tonight so if you've got a chance get yourself down to the uh, capitol theater in port chester new york that's going to be pretty awesome this is the uh outside of the theater this is what it looks like uh, this photo was made in june 2022 so it's a nice sunny day not too long ago and uh yeah so that's the capital theater so that's where the gig will be tonight the cheapest tickets i can find uh so far are here and they are balcony c row k seats 101 to 112 and they're 70 dollars and 95 cents each so if you want if you are still looking those are uh, the best options I think you can find. So uh, not terrible, 70, 71 dollars, not terrible. What else is going on? Um, if we go back to this, uh, Johnny Depp and Jeff Beck are playing in New York, and uh, that seems to be the big event of this tour. We've got uh, actor turned rocker, there he is, Johnny Depp, uh, oh, there he is, <laughs> joined forces with Jeff Beck as the pair kick-started their North American tour last week before heading to New York. The duo will take to the stage in back-to-back -back performances at the Paramount in Huntington, Long Island on October 14, October 15. And they're going to have a special guest who is called Desjour, Desjour, I don't know, I don't know. And uh, let's have a little look. This is the uh, theatre itself. It is the Paramount Theatre and it's in Huntington, New York and it's on New York Avenue. So if you want to get yourself down here, uh, this photo looks kind of cold. It was uh, Street View December 2021. Oh, I see the little Christmas tree. So yeah, um, obviously it doesn't look like that now, but this is the place and uh, you'll be here and that's going to be fantastic. And um, the show's going to feature Dissure, never heard of them. Tickets are for the show are nearly sold out with resale tickets fetching anywhere between 214 and 746 for the VIP packages. Uh, yeah, so this is the floor plan of the uh, place, the Paramount Huntington, New York, Friday, October 14th, 8 p.m. So this is another, what, a week away. And you've got uh, tickets here. Prices are high. It's a big-ish arena. Not the biggest one they've been to, but it's a big-ish. Prices are crazy high. What's that? 746 Woo. I mean 303 down here but 746 that's 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 not justifiable to be honest you can't pay that much um well I mean some people can uh what's these blue ones official plat wowzers 746 746 dollars cha-ching and uh, what's down here 500 and these bad boys 456 so yeah they've all been sold out apart from, the, apart from these crazy price ones and uh, everything's been sold out apart from resale as always and uh can we zoom in here it's not letting me for some reason okay so this one unless you've got tickets already this is not looking good um to be honest this is a week away as well so why is it not letting me go in stop messing about uh 256 180 211 yeah they're not cheap 182 so this is uh, new york in the paramount in huntington so um a good amount of money for those what is else is going on with this uh tickets of the show are nearly sold out as they're saying only seven tickets remain available i think it's only two now uh the venue are between the two shows the venue holds a capacity of 1573 beck and depp kick-started the 29 date tour so you've got 29 opportunities uh on september 23rd near austin texas well jeff beck did and uh, johnny depp joined him on the 4th of october and we'll 
run through to November the 12th, finishing up in Reno, Nevada. I think that's going to be pretty awesome. The end show is going to be pretty awesome. Uh, there they are. And... Uh, Depp, 59, has performed in Beck, 78, several times this year, including the Rock and Roll Hall of Famer's recent UK tour. Yeah, he was up in Sheffield, London. The duo's performance garnered a lot of attention as it took place while Depp awaited the jury decision in his bombshell defamation trial against someone. The uh, pair performed several times earlier this year, as well as released an album, dubbed 18, very good it is as well, on July 15th. And he's won eight, eight Grammy Awards. This guy knows what this thing is. He's uh, <laughs> inducted into the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame twice in 92 and 09. While Depp dabbled in music scenes for years, but you know, he's pretty much an actor slash rocker, rocker slash actor. He even formed the band Hollywood Vampires with Alice Cooper and Aerosmith Joe Perry, and uh, which is lovely. Uh, Depp and Beck's album was released just weeks after the actor won his highly publicized trial against someone. And uh, he originally sued someone for loads of money and won comprehensively and uh, sh- and she's gone hiding in Spain uh, there you go <laughs> yeah that's right um, and she's got to pay another 15 million dollars to her lawyers so it didn't go well for her did it no no it didn't so <laughs> so that's uh, that's what's going on so tonight Port Chester Capital Theatre and then on the 14th down here we got back to back two days at the Paramount, which is going to be pretty cool. A few other things, uh, some interesting news coming out today. Plus, I'll put some photos of the uh, gig that happened yesterday in Boston. I've, there's some amazing photos out there. Um, but this one uh, drew my attention. Uh, the Edward Scissorhands, this is quite a while ago, but the Edward Scissorhands sleeve sold for $81,000 in auction. So this thing here, uh, would you sit there with someone? Uh, no, I wouldn't. <laughs> $81,000 in auction. I was thinking, well, what other Johnny Depp, memorabilia uh, movie related memorabilia is there out there I'm not talking about um, autographs or things people made I'm thinking about what is actual things from movies that are used like real film memorabilia so I was looking around and what did I find Sweeney Todd the demon demon barber of Fleet Streets the actual razors used in the film are going up for auction uh, very soon and uh, I was looking at them. There they are. They've got a starting price of £10,000, which is $13,000. And they're going to hit $25,000, $35,000 estimates. And there they are. If you want to get your hands on some of these and you've got a lot of cash, um, they've got uh, pretty women on the blade, well, on the uh, handles. And why not? That's what I always say when I sorry, I'm turning my head sideways to look at these things. <laughs> and uh, yeah, cute. Uh, Actually, it's a bit of a dodgy face, but okay. Uh, <laughs> and uh, yeah, so if you want to get yourself one of these, they come in a set of seven, and uh, there he is using them in the film. We've got Helena Bottom Carter in the background. There they are in the box. They're big. They're, not, they're like huge, these things. I wonder if you get the box with it. For that much money, you should. And uh, they are, they're nearly, what, 12 inches? They're a foot long. And the blade, blade's about five, five. I'm looking sideways now. Five inches long-ish. Oh, it doesn't go to the end here. Say so four and a half inches, maybe. The long blade. Um, there's seven. They look rusty. I mean, rusty razor blade. Whew. You don't want, yeah, they are. You don't want that on a Tuesday, do you? And uh, yeah, so you can go, you can get uh, some of those. And uh, I thought they were interesting. I was thinking, what else is on this prop store auction place? What else can you get? Uh, let's have a little look. There's, there's all sorts of crazy things. You can have blades coat from Wesley Snipes this thing I really liked the Blade Runner coat from Rutger Hauer's actual Blade Runner coat remember that Rutger Hauer this one I really liked that's uh, Whitney Houston's from the film The Bodyguard and uh, I, was, I was bringing some of these up some brilliant stuff this is the jacket used by Rutger Hauer in uh, Blade Runner when he gives a speech about the the sea beams glittering off Orion ah oh, amazing film and uh, Whitney Houston's Queen of the Night costume remember that Queen of the Night and uh, this is the original one she actually wore it and she gets attacked by the fans on stage and uh, Kevin Costner has to uh, pick her up and carry her uh, off the stage there she is and uh, it's the original it's screen matched I don't know if I can click that it's going to open it was really slow last time yeah it's they match match it to the screenshot so this is from the film and they notice these three tears and they match it to the three tears in the, the costume to say oh yeah this is the actual one from the actual film so uh, yeah that's this is the real uh, real deal look at this thing this is crazy you get a headpiece with it how much is this going to set you back twenty thousand pounds that's twenty five thousand dollars Ooh, that's some fine cheddar that is that's a lot of a lot of cash and uh, look at these beads on the back like uh, imitation pearl on the back. So there you go. Classic Whitney Houston. What else is there? Um, 
<laughs> this one made me laugh. Marty McFly's hoverboard, the actual hoverboard from the film. Brilliant. Um, it is the horrible colours. Uh, looks like Barbie colours to me. Um, yeah, Mattel. It's a bar- <laughs> Barbie coloured hoverboard. Love it. Uh, so yeah, thirty thousand pounds. That's a lot of cash for a bit of plastic. And uh, what else we got here? I was looking at these. Back to the Future Part 2, the official licensed light-up size 11 Martin McFly shoes. £5,000 for the shoes. So much money. So much crazy money for interesting things. But there's so many other things there. You can get this thing's the chair back. You know, the uh, bits of wood go here and it's like a director's chair. And that's going to be, I think it was 5000 You can have the original uh, notebook from uh, Neverland, Finding Neverland. There's, there's so many things. There's Willy Wonka tickets. There's uh, Charlie and the Chocolate factory a candy canes there's a jacket from crybaby ah oh, so many good things this this is angelica's this is penelope cruz's wig uh, from pirates of the caribbean all these things are real and original and from the film and uh this one already sold though that's the original complete pirate costume display from world's end that one went for loads of money so yeah loads of interesting things pirate coin <laughs> ah maybe maybe so there you go uh very interesting see so new york uh, gigs are on and uh huntington beach and there's a gig tonight oh that's nice oh yeah they sold it said it's for what 81 81,000. yeah so a lot of money a lot of cash what's that oh crew jacket okay uh <laughs> a hat oh brilliant i want the hat um can i get the hat I bet I can't. Oh, look at that thing. It's a tricorn. It's Johnny Depp's tricorn. Brilliant. I want it. Um, <laughs> so that's uh, that's pretty much everything going on at the moment. I'll leave some videos up here to watch if you want to. Uh, please try and subscribe. It really does help. And I hope I've earned your subscription uh, with my crazy chats about Johnny Depp <laughs> mostly. There's the like button. There's super thanks if you'd like to uh, give me some rum. Because uh, I will spend it on rum. I'm, uh, I'm going to guarantee that. And uh, there's memberships. If you want to join the members, you can have little icons. Uh, you're in the comments and uh yeah leave a comment let me know what you think about everything will you buy this hat uh, you can't because it's already sold and um thank you for watching and i will see you guys later